Hello and welcome back to my channel. In this tutorial, I'm going to talk about core fitting with SciPy core fit function. The SciPy API offers a core fit function with its optimization library for fitting data to a given function. This method uh, utilizes nonlinear list squares to fit uh, the data and determine the optimal parameters. In this tutorial, we'll briefly explore how to use the core fit function to fit curves by employing various fitting functions in Python. We'll begin uh, by importing the necessary libraries. Here we use NumPy, SciPy, and Matplotlib libraries. We need a test data to implement core fitting in this tutorial. We can define a simple X input and Y output data for this purpose. Feel free to use your own data instead. Here is the X and Y data. The curve fit function is primarily designed for nonlinear curve fitting. It uses the least squares optimization method to find the parameters of specified function that best fit uh, the provided data. We'll define multiple functions to use in the core fit function and observe their differences in the fitting. You can also add or change the equation to improve the fitting parameters for your data. We'll use the following equations as fitting functions. We can express them in Python as shown below. Here we need to provide X and the ABC uh, parameters. To fit the data with core fit, we need to provide the fitting function as well as X and Y data. We can also provide initial guess parameters uh, to improve the fitting performance. If initial guesses are not provided, core fit will uh, attempt to estimate them automatically, which may work well for simple functions or well behaved data. For more complex cases, providing initial guesses can improve the accuracy and the speed of the fitting process. The curve fit function then returns the optimal parameters and the estimated covariance values as output. Here is an example of uh, using the curve fit function. Here we have to provide uh, the fitting function and the x and y data. And it returns uh, parameters and the covariance value. Uh, you can check the outputs here. Now we'll begin fitting the data by setting the target uh, function as well as X and Y data into the curve fit function. We'll extract the output data, which contains the parameter or values for A, B, and C. Since we are not using covariance values, we can skip that step. Then we'll calculate the fitted Y values by using the derived values of A, B, and C for each function. Here is uh, how to use curve fit. Uh, we provide a function, a fitting function, and the x and y data. And from params, we'll uh, extract ABC. And uh, by using ABCs, we can uh, uh, calculate uh, y uh, fitted uh, data. Finally, we'll visualize the result in a plot uh, to assess the difference visually. Here is uh, how to plot in a graph. Uh, this is the result. The blue dots are original uh, data and the others are the fitted, uh, uh, fitted uh, results. It's a good idea to experiment with different uh, fitting functions and uh, select the appropriate one. So you can uh, choose the appropriate fitting function uh, for your for your uh, analysis according to your behavior of your data that's it for this tutorial uh, in this tutorial we briefly learned uh, how to fit curves using the scipy api api's core fit function uh, the core fit function assists in determining the parameters of the selected function that most accurately represents the provided data adjusting the function and providing initial guess can enhance the curve fitting process and here is the source code. I'll put the link uh, to source code in description. If you like this video, please uh, subscribe my channel and hit like button. Thank you for watching and uh, see you next time.